This tutorial is designed to show the easiest way to move content out of LAMP and into Canvas. You will see here that I have logged into my LAMP account, and I'm going to go into one of my courses. I'll use English 131H from Fall 2013. The easiest way to retrieve the content from this course is going to be to use the Lessons tool in LAMP. For those who have not used the Lessons tool, it is very easy to add. You go to Site Info, and then you select Edit Tools, and then you scroll down and select Lessons. And you will be prompted on the next page to give a name to the lesson if you want to, or you can just leave it as Lessons. I'm going to continue and then hit Finish. And you'll see that now over here on the left hand side of my screen I have a Lessons tool. If I click that Lessons tool, in order to export content from LAMP, it is not important at all that you actually have anything added to the Lessons tool here. This is uh, where we would normally put content. The only thing that really matters is that you have actually added the Lessons tool to your site. I can then select from the More Tools option right here, the option for Export CC. CC stands for Common Cartridge. It's a file format that learning management systems use. And if I click on that, you can see it prompts me to check a couple of boxes. I'm going to use the newest version of the file recommended for Canvas. And I'm going to include all the question pools you can access as a single question bank. And then I'm going to click Download. And what this will do is that it will take all of the content in this course, um, including resources, the structure of the gradebook, um, any tests and quizzes, any assignments, and it packages all of those into this single common cartridge file that is now stored in my downloads folder. Now, since I may not use this file immediately, I'm going to click on the little arrow here and select show in folder and I'm going to then copy this um, if you remember this was the name of the file that was downloaded and I'm going to find a convenient place to to paste it so that I can find it again later and on my desktop I have a folder called canvas and I'm going to create a folder within that for archived courses from LAMP. And now I will paste that here. And for my own convenience, I'm going to right click on it and rename it because the Sakai export doesn't really mean anything to me. So I'm going to rename it ENG131 file 13 and be sure to leave that dot imscc and save it. Now I can't actually open this file. You'll see if I double click on it it, create, it offers me the option of finding a program to open it. Really what I need is to import it into another learning management system and that's where Canvas comes in. To make use of those files, I need to log into Canvas, and that's the first part of my email address and my LR password. And then I need to decide what course am I going to use that content in. I've got a sandbox course that is just for testing purposes. You each should have one of those as well. And I will use this one to demonstrate for you what happens with this. The very first thing I'm going to do is to reset the course content so that it is just a blank shell. And if I come down here to settings, you can see that I have the option of importing content into this course. If you remember, we saved that file as a .cc file, common cartridge. And that is one option right here. And I'm going to select that. I need to then choose the file and remember we saved that on my desktop in my canvas folder in the archived courses and there's that file and I will click open on it 
And then I have the option of choosing either to import all of the content or to choose specific pieces of content. I'm going to select all and then click import. And at this point, that file will upload. And this may take just a moment. You can see it's at 85%. Now it's at 99%. And then what Canvas will do is to take this file and unpack it to make things go where they're supposed to. So my assignments will end up in the Assignments tab. My um, tests and quizzes will end up in the Quizzes tab. Anything that I had used in the Lessons format will show up in Modules. And it'll, you'll see the blue status bar as it updates. And this will, again, take just a moment. But it is much better than having to download individual pieces of your course one at a time. This will be much quicker. And you can see that now Canvas has told me that that job has been processed and it is completed. So now when I come to Assignments and click you can see that I have here all of my assignments from that English 131 course. And when I come to um, modules, I had used the lessons tool in that. If you remember, I arranged everything by month. You can see that it has preserved that structure so that all of that content has been imported into Canvas. If I click on grades, it will show that it kept the structure of my gradebook. That may require a little bit of editing, but for the most part, everything has been preserved and imported. And that is how you most easily move content from LAMP into Canvas.